Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is Dr. Babur, uh, Gufran Babur, and you're watching my YouTube channel. Today's information in video will be on cirrhosis of liver. Uh, a disclaimer that this video is just for information, uh, and anyone who has any health issues should consult their provider uh, for management and treatment. So cirrhosis of liver is uh, 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 a health issue which is very common and uh, almost 11th or 12th leading cause of death uh, in the world uh, because of the eventual liver uh, failure. So uh, liver is an organ which is located on the right upper uh, part of our abdomen behind the right lower ribs. It is about three pounds uh, or 1.5 kilograms in weight and uh, it is made up of uh, liver cells which are called hepatocytes. It has got blood vessels which includes arteries, veins, uh, lymph glands uh, as well as uh, uh, lymphatic vessels. Uh, and it has got uh, cells that fight uh, uh, the invaders like Kupfer cells. So it has got multiple advantages. It is the largest gland in the body. Uh, the fun functions uh, range from uh, manufacturing, storage, detoxification. It helps in um, uh, synthesis or preparing of blood proteins, which include clotting factors, oxygen transport, and immune system. It stores glucose, which is uh, the most important nutrient for the body. Uh, it helps in manufacturing of bile, which is involved in uh, uh, digestion of food, uh, especially the fat, helps uh, getting rid of the toxic substances like ammonia from the blood as well as uh, getting rid of uh, other toxins like an alcohol uh, as well as a lot of uh, medications they are uh, destroyed after they have performed their function and they are excre excreted after detoxification it also has role in the fat metabolism amino acid synthesis uh, so it gets uh, breaks down the saturated fat and uh, producing uh, cholesterol so uh, what is cirrhosis it is a progressive illness uh, in which the healthy liver tissue is progressively replaced by the scar tissue uh, what does the scarring do is that it blocks the flow of blood through the liver and uh, slows down the vital functions including uh, processing of nutrients, hormones, drugs and toxins out of the liver. It also slows down the manufacturing of proteins and other useful substances which are made by the liver uh, and uh, that uh, causes a downhill course in uh, the patient's life. Uh, the commoner causes are infectious like hepatitis B, C and D. Uh, however, D is extremely rare. Uh, in US, hepatitis C, fatty liver and alcohol consumption are the major causes of uh, cirrhosis of liver. So what happens is when there is blockage of bile duct which carries uh, bile from the uh, liver to the intestines and helping in fat emulsification and digestion is uh, one of the causes is biliary atresia uh, and uh, sometimes there could be infection in the bile that cholangitis uh, and uh, could be autoimmune leading to primary biliary cirrhosis. Repeated bouts of heart failure in elderly can lead to fluid backup and liver damage and ultimately cirrhosis of liver. There are certain diseases uh, like cystic fibrosis, uh, which can cause uh, destruction of liver cells, glycogen storage diseases, too much of glycogen or glucose is stored in the liver, causing it to get damaged 
uh, by over storage of glycogen alpha 1 and trypsin which is another type of uh, inherited disorder uh, heme chromatosis and wilson's disease in heme chromatosis there is too much of iron deposited in the liver and wilson's is a copper metabolism too much of copper is stored in the liver destroying the uh, liver cells other causes like prescription drugs paracetamol over dosage of tylenol or paracetamol or acetaminophen can lead to liver toxicity isoniazid there are certain other drugs as well environmental toxins uh, can lead to liver damage and parasitic infections schistosomiasis uh, can also liver fluke can also damage the liver so healthy liver changes in first into fatty liver fat accumulates uh, in those people who are very overweight uh, which causes destruction of liver parasites or cells leading to fibrosis and ultimately uh, growth of connective tissue uh, which destroys the normal liver uh, so uh, ultimately the functioning hepatocytes or liver cells their number goes down and fibrous tissue comes in and uh, it uh, separates uh, the normal cells or the parenchymal cells into nodules which could be micro or macular and uh, ultimately the hepatocytes get uh, 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 damaged and uh, the symptoms for people who develop uh, cirrhosis or fibrosis of liver, uh, they could be from loss of appetite, weight loss or weight gain. Uh, because of the decreased excretion of bilirubin, they will develop yellowing, yellow, yellowish discoloration of the skin. Uh, because of the blood vessels, the veins that go through the liver, when they are constricted because of the fibrous tissue, uh, the pressure builds up uh, uh, and leading to uh, edema or swelling of the ankles, legs, and if the fluid leaks out in the abdomen, it leads to ascites as well. Uh, the urine can be changed into brownish or yellowish color, um, orange tint color. The stools, since the bilirubin is not excreted, they become clay colored or light colored stools. And if the toxins like ammonia, they build up too much, uh, they go to the brain and the brain function gets impaired in resulting in confusion. Uh, they become disoriented, personality changes happen. And uh, because of the pressure built up in the uh, veins uh, that the portal vein that drains into the liver uh, there could be signs of portal hypertension esophageal varices they can bleed uh, from them leading to bleeding from the uh, upper GI tract uh, leading to vomiting and uh, which has blood hematemesis or bleeding out of the gut in the stools sometimes the inferior vena cavel uh, drainage is affected so they can develop uh, hemorrhoids uh, so a lot of uh, blood can be lost uh, through these uh, outlets they can have fever lack of energy debilitation uh, loss of muscle mass uh, so liver may be palpable in the beginning but ultimately it becomes uh, uh, shrunk and may not be palpable Blood tests uh, should be performed, which show elevated ALT, GGT. Uh, the confirmation, uh, you will have to do the clotting factor testing, PT, PTT. Confirmation happens with the liver biopsy. Uh, other tests like CT scan, ultrasound, uh, radioisotopes, which uh, will enlighten uh, the liver and spleen can be done. And uh, in some cases, uh, cirrhosis is diagnosed during random surgery uh, when they do laparoscopy for say uh, cholecystitis, and they can find the uh, uh, they can find the cirrhotic liver. So variceal bleeding uh, is uh, due to portal hypertension, like I said, uh, increased pressure in the portal vein, uh, the large vessel that carries blood from the digestive tract to the liver. 
this increases pressure uh, and is uh, caused by the blockage of blood flow uh, to the liver so the pressure buildups behind it like a block drain and increased pressure uh, can cause uh, dilatation of veins in the esophagus and stomach uh, uh, to bypass, bypass the blockage. These very seas, which are dilated veins, they become fragile and they can bleed easily with severe hemorrhage and uh, fluid buildup because of increased hydrostatic pressure in the veins uh, and the uh, omenta on the uh, peritoneum leading to peritoneal uh, fluid uh, coming out as ascites or fluid around the intestines in the peritoneal sac uh, which is uh, very important uh, confusion or mental changes like i discussed because of the detoxifying uh, function of the liver the toxins can go into the brain as well other complications could be kidney failure decrease oxygen carrying ability hemoglobin globin chain, uh, chains are decreased or globin protein is decreased uh, people uh, can have pancreatic problems diabetes increased risk for blood clots infections because of lack of synthesis of antibodies or uh, immunoglobulins uh, the collagen is less uh, since the amino acids don't form the protein, so increase excessive bruisability, bruising in men, estrogen is not metabolized, so they can develop gynecomastia or male breast production. Females can develop premature menopause, a lot of loss of muscle mass. So if the condition is identified very early, it can be uh, uh, treated, in the beginning or uh, its complication is delayed uh, hepatitis can be treated other metabolic disorders hemochromatosis wilson's disease so uh, alcohol consumption can be decreased so those things if it is the progression can be slowed down uh, but uh, uh, if it is not prevented then it ultimately goes to liver uh, failure the most important treatment at that time will be liver transplant uh, which can get rid of all these problems and uh, you know but there are problems with the uh, uh, with the transplant thing too uh, autoimmune hepatitis can be treated with uh, and uh, with specific medications in the beginning uh, steroids or antiviral medicines can be used for hepatitis B and C viruses and uh, uh, Wilson's disease, uh, copper uh, uh, chelating agents or in heme chromatosis where there's iron deposition in the liver, uh, chelation or binding of iron uh, can be desferol therapy to decrease the iron overload uh, like in thalassemia can be done. If there's fluid in the, uh, in the ascites can be treated with diuretics uh, and to remove the excess fluid, uh, diet uh, which is should be not a high in protein uh, can be used laxatives like lactulose are used to get rid of any ammonia and other harmful toxins out of the uh, body uh, so uh, finding a liver transplant donor is the mainstay of the treatment which is the most useful uh, and uh, pre taking medications to prevent the graft uh, rejection will be important. Uh, IV uh, use of drugs, uh, you know, which can transmit hepatitis, HIV uh, should be discouraged or prevented. Uh, and cleaning uh, products, pesticides, or other thing, uh, contact with chemicals. Uh, so make sure you wear the protective uh, uh, clothing, face mask when using all these uh, cleaning products because they are toxic to the liver. Uh, vaccination for hepatitis B will be useful. Uh, eating healthy, keeping an eye on the weight can prevent overweight related uh, ascites. Uh, so that will be overweight related uh, uh, fatty liver, uh, which can ultimately lead to cirrhosis of liver because of the damage of the hepatocytes by excess fat buildup can be done through lifestyle interventions, 
eating healthy and, and people who are morbidly obese, liver transplant, uh, gastric bypass surgery can prevent liver transplantation. So uh, replacement of uh, fat soluble vitamins like A, D, E, K should be carried out in these people. And like I said early, those people who are drink daily consumption of alcohol should be uh, uh, stopped. Uh, otherwise, the liver injury will be progressive and uh, alcoholic uh, liver disease will happen. The NASH non-alcoholic fatty hepatocytosis uh, steatohepatitis is because of the fat buildup in overweight people. The fat uh, keeps on accumulating in the liver, destroying the liver and uh, injuring the hepatocytes, uh, formation of inflammatory uh, tissue, inflammatory cells will come and they will uh, destroy the hepatocytes which will be replaced by collagen and other fibrous tissues which will further choke uh, the uh, kind of uh, form a noose around the remaining uh, liver cells which will be damaged further and that noose effect will go to the veins leading to portal hypertension, splenomegaly, esophageal varices and down uh, into the uh, uh, rectal area because of inferior vena cable uh, obstruction or uh, overpressure which will lead to uh, hemorrhoids and other uh, uh, leakiness of blood and fluid out of the uh, veins and blood vessels. Uh, cirrhosis, uh, in patients, uh, they suffer inflammations and require hospitalizations. Uh, and uh, more than 30,000 deaths uh, in US happen every year because of cirrhosis of liver. So it's a big disease burden in US as well. And 69% uh, uh, of adults identify uh, uh, with cirrhosis uh you know uh, they may not know uh, so 69 percent of the people who are identified with cirrhosis they may not even know the diagnosis so that's why screening is important signs lack of energy lethargy jaundice yellow dis yellow discoloration of eyes is very 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 important so high index of suspicion uh, is important so when they go for their regular medical checkups uh, they should be looked at because like I said, 69% may not know that they have early hep hepatitis or uh, late hepatitis or early cirrhosis, which will go into progressive cirrhosis. And ultimately when they can diagnose, it is really, really late and liver transplant will be the ultimate uh, treatment. Uh, so uh, I hope uh, this uh, article, this uh, talk was uh, useful. Uh, so importance of uh, preventive measures uh, is important uh, because if we don't uh, do the prevention, ultimately the liver uh, cirrhosis and progressive uh, liver damage will happen uh, and uh, the body uh, will go into liver failure, portal hypertension, infections, and ultimately it can go into hepatocellular uh, cancer. Uh, which can uh, be fatal. Uh, so please uh, uh, like this video, uh, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. And again, this is Dr. Barber uh, from US uh, on my YouTube channel. Uh, thank you. Sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallimu taslima. Asalaamu Alaikum.